Greetings, survivors. It is I, the host Harish, and today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to start a let's play. Mainly because I'm one of those old players who's played Minecraft for ages, from alpha, beta, all the way up through mainly around 1.7, 1.8, which is when I basically stopped on that point. Because I kind of got bored of SMP. And then Mojang decided to basically add all the cool updates, and now I ha I'm a noob, I have no idea what I'm doing. Ooh, flowers. So I think it's time for us together to both figure out how this game works again. And to learn how to survive and thrive. Now, that sun, there's only 10 minutes before the sun goes down, so we need to get going. So let's get some wood in, let's go get some pickaxes and tools, and let's go find a nice little cave to go and make a little house in. First step, punch a tree. Of course. Don't come too close, Mr. Cow, you'll become food layer. I won't turn you into food. Right, so. Our agenda today, before the sun sets, we need, if we can, we can try find some sheep and get some wool. If not, we need to make a full set of stone tools and get on with it. So, let's start with a... Oop, I can't do that. The pickaxe first. And then from there, oop, take the crafting table with you. I really should make an axe, but I want to get some stone first. I don't want to be wasting tools and wood. Let's go find some open stone. I don't want to destroy the land too much by just digging random holes. I do want to make this as legit as possible. I don't want to run too much either, because if I start running, I will become fatigued. And if I become fatigued, um, it's... Well, I won't have any food, then I can't heal, and then I'll die, and that's not really, you know, good. Um, okay, one, two, three. Three for the pick, three for the axe, three for the sword. So, two for the sword, one for the shovel. No ho, because we aren't hoes. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's put that there. Axe. Boom. Boom. Yep, yep, and brilliant. Sword, pick, axe, thing. Chop you down. Brilliant. Um, I can't do anything with that pumpkin right now. Because I don't have any wheat or anything. So, um... We... Oops. Is that okay? You know what they say? All holes lead to adventure. That can't be a spawner already. Can it? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Yeah, use the dirt. Use the dirt. What type of spawner is it? Skeleton spawner. Oh, okay. We've got unlimited bones now. We have to do this carefully so we don't um, die because uh, that's a real possibility here right now. Um, oh, okay, that's really scary. Why am I so scared? I am actually scared of a skeleton spawner. What? I'm gonna do F3 and I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and that way I've got the cord for later in case if I lose this place. Okay, I need to cover that because I am gonna die soon. I'm gonna have to find food. I've got a little bit of wheat now, so I do have the possibility of, um, well, do have the possibility of um, making pumpkin pie. I'm gonna find sugar cane. Oh, oh, okay. That's a cave. And those are chickens. You know what? I think I'm thinking I'm just gonna kill these. Sorry, cow. I'm not sorry. Where is the There aren't any sheep. Oh. Yeah. 
Yes. Excuse me. You are so lucky I'm not going to kill you. Just eat all my bones. Okay, take one of those. Can we make a, a doggy friend? It might actually help us later on. Right, so, if we go back to that skeleton spawner, I'm saying we just make our base- Ooh, another cave! That goes into nothing. Brilliant. We go back- where was that cave? Here. Let's go back over here. Let's make this place our home base. Because it is actually quite secure for now. Back to here. them without having to get in the line of fire. Only one chest! Oh, how stingy. Let's see if that will predict this bone now. I've only got one. I'm running out of food. Daylight is going. Uh oh, this is not good. I might die on my first day. Um, wolf because of a wolf, for God's sake. Okay. Um, uh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no. I, I need to find food. I am going to starve. Can you eat bamboo? Can you eat bamboo? I don't know. I don't know. What is bamboo used for? Can you cook it? Or is that kelp? Cocoa beans over there. Melons! Finally, got some food. Yay! Got a friend. Okay. I've got one of you. That's a cave. Don't go down there. Don't be silly. Right. Melons it is. I think if I remember, if you use a sword, you get more melons. Don't know why. You need like a half a stack of melon already. One of the worst food sources, unfortunately, but you know what. But if I do get some gold, I can glisten up and gold and then maybe I'll do something with it. But um, I, I've, I've got no idea what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to die on my first day. Ooh, iron. No, coal. Coal and stick makes torch. And torch gives you light. Right, do you want to die with my pickaxe? No, get out of the way. What is this? Raw iron. Oh. Where's my iron ore? Where I want. Let's see this stuff will smelt down. Okay, nine, six. Yay, twenty eight torches. Okay, get some more for fuel. And then that way I can actually survive the night maybe. Okay, put that in our hand. We've got torches. Right, we've got a little bit of food on us. We've got some meat that we need to cook, otherwise we'll die of food poisoning. Sun is getting ready to go down, so we need to actually really head back and hide in. <gasps> sheep, sheep, sheep. That means if I kill three sheep, that's three wool minimum. One. Two, where'd, where'd you go? Three! Job done. I only need three for now. The rest we can breed and make a nice little farm out of. Okay, that means we've got three wool. So now we can make um we can make a bed. We can sleep. That means the night isn't gonna be that bad for us anymore. I would just need to get back to base before the sun sets. And if we can, if we can find some red red flowers, we can get some red dye. 
because I do know the. Oh god, this is another cave. This looks quite cool. Nice little water down here. Huh. This actually, this this map looks really cool right now. Can I make that jump? Yeah, I can. Oh, red flower, red flowers, red flowers. Right, okay. One, two, three. Let's go back to home base. We really need to sit down and do a bit of mining. But first, I must get back home before I die. Um, the night's almost here. I can, start, I can start to see the stars for God's sake. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I need to give you a name. I'm going to call you Winston. Winston, get over here, let's go. Yeah, Winston's a good name. Is that Winston? No, it's one of your brothers. It's probably the one that ate all my bones. Uh, oh, no. Um, oh. I forgot where my home base is. I'm going to die if I don't find my home base. Uh, I'm actually kind of freaking out right now. This, this is, this is not where I was. Oh, here's a ravine. There it is. Ah, I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Quick, get in. Just block it up. Okay, we're safe for now. That means we can also tame this thing now. Oh, you can actually go into here. Another entrance here, so we need to block this side off as well. I'm say we do that. That. Oh. Put the torch on there. And suddenly, I still have to ourselves. Right, okay. Now we need to make a campfire. I wonder how we make a campfire. Hmm. Hmm. Log, log, log. Kill, and then three sticks. Uh, ooh. I wonder if I can run out of some logs real quick. Is it really worth the campfire? Yeah, probably. Okay, I don't see anyone for now. I don't see any mobs. Quick, 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 back inside, back in. What are you doing here, Winston? You're a baby, you're not gonna be able to protect me. Okay, okay, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe. Sit down. This is really crap. Let's see if we can turn it a little bigger. See if we can flesh out this cave a little bit. Give us a bit more breathing room. There we go. Already looks much nicer. Right. Now that we've got this, we better stick a campfire somewhere. We've got a campfire on this side. Or we could stick it on the other side. We could stick we could stick it on our side. Just gonna make sure the smoke doesn't build up. I'll stick it over here. If I just build a nice little big smokestack. Hopefully, all the smog goes up there. So a campfire was if I remember. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. Campfire. Oh, and it comes pre lit too. So now. Oh, God, that hurts. Put some steak on there. And it should cook. And if I'm correct, uh, that should make cooked food. And then we can finally eat something that doesn't, you know, that we don't need to eat kilos of. Just have to wait for it to be done. Mmm, toasty. 
As long as you don't get too close and burn yourself. You want some food? Yeah? I'll take that as a yes. Right. Have some chicken, Madonna. There you go. Oh, finally, we're healing. I can feel my bones connecting together again. The muscles getting faster. Oh, finally, let's cook this mutton as well. We've got this raw mutton sitting around. Here we go, put that in there. Right, now about this bed. Let's dye this wall. One, two, three. One, two, three. We've got a red bed. Brilliant. So what we're going to do, put a nice little bed in the corner, sleep on the grass, make sure we don't hit our head on that ceiling. It's a very low ceiling. Cook up, cook up the last of this food and then we're going to be done, I think. Can you? No, you can't put logs on. Only food. You can find? No. Leather. Leather can't be cooked. Grilled watermelon? No. Put some cooked mutton, some steak, a little bit of wheat remaining. And of course, some melon slices. How could you forget? <laughs> Already feeling so much better, right? Ooh. 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 Fine. I'm tired now. Right. Good night, everyone. See you in the morning.